Hi, I'm Dr. Howard Fuller from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I work at Marquette University and uh, I'm a former superintendent of Milwaukee Public Schools. And, you know, for the last 20 years, I've been moving around the country trying to take the message of we've got to do better by our kids. So I was very fortunate to be able to speak today on the question of trying to fix inequality in public education. And what I really tried to do in our session was, number one, make the distinction between public education and the system that delivers public education. Because I don't believe that Milwaukee Public Schools, for example, is public education. I believe it is a delivery system for public education. And that public education is an idea, the idea that we want the public to be educated. But there's a variety of different delivery systems that we could construct to make sure that we in fact educate the public. And so I really believe that since these delivery systems were not created by God, we could actually change them to try to benefit kids. So one of the things I was trying to do was to make that distinction. Then because we were talking about inequality, I tried to present data that show the inequality. For example, the achievement gap. So when you look at NAEP scores for uh, all races of kids in this country, and you see the, the gaps between white students and black students, or white students and Latino students, or, and, and, and so that, that whole achievement gap issue obviously is something that we care deeply about. And so I was trying to show the data that explains at least what it is, not why it is, but what it is. And then to look at how have we tried to attack it. And so one of the things we looked at is that you see this achievement gap, you see how it impacts uh, poor kids, and particularly poor kids of color, but then when it comes to what are we going to do about it, we give school districts that have high poverty, on average, less than school districts that have the wealthiest people. So you start seeing all of these distinctions in terms of what we do. Do, do the kids who need the strongest teachers, do they get the strongest teachers or the weakest teachers? So there's this, this disconnect between kids who really need the most, but they get the least. And, and trying to understand why that's happening, why is that occurring, and what is it that we have to do about it. And then finally, you know, trying to understand the, the ongoing struggle to create the quote, one best system. And what I really believe is there is no one best system. That what we really need to be willing to do is to create whatever works for the children who need us the most. And that I was trying to explain how, for black people, for example, we've had a long history of struggling against the one best system, going all the way back to when we came out of slavery and understood the connection between education and liberation. And we were part of, through the Freedmen's Bureau and other work, creating the public school structure in the South. But then when the Missouri Compromise took place and they reinstalled people in power who ostensibly the Civil War had been fought to get out of power, one of the decisions that was made was to take money out of the black schools and give it to white schools that black people could not attend. So then black people had to pay taxes for schools we couldn't attend and then we had to create our own schools. So I'm trying to make the point that we have a history of struggling for choice and struggling to make sure that there's more than one way to try to educate our children. So this, this was my way of trying to approach the topic of how do we fix inequality in public education.